call to order. This is the Livingston Parish Council Finance Committee for Thursday, May 9th, 2019. Ms. Angie, call the roll, please. Mr. Ord. Here. Mr. Garlinghouse. Here. Mr. Keene. Here. Mr. Matt. All right, guys. Old business. Anything to discuss on the last um, on the last so, meeting? I think so. All right. And a poor new business. Jennifer. Good evening, guys. Hello. Hey. Okay, so you have your normal paperwork in front of you. Same old, same old. Um, nothing really going on right now except that my auditor showed up yesterday, so we are in full scale audit mode. Yeah. Um, also, our lease, I don't know if you remember, but um, we had at least six uh, Tiger Boom mowers and our last lease payment was last month. And those mowers have 4,000 plus hours on them each and three of them are in the shop more than they're out. So we have made the decision to not lease them in the future. We're gonna go ahead and outright buy three of them this year. We need mowers that are running constantly. And uh, it, it saves about $15,000 each if we just don't lease them. I mean, they're, they're not lasting past the lease term anyway. We're gonna just buy them outright and then we'll auction them when they're dead. So we, you'll see the addition for three of those on the budget when we amend it this year. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sam, that's what I think you came to us about that. Yeah. 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 That's one you need over there, DPW? Please. Okay, no problem. <clears throat> y'all have any questions for me or how's your sales tax collection looking on here i'm still doing great all right good i had you know i had bumped up the budget a little bit yeah. this year even though i said i, I wasn't going to but it looks so good that i did and we're still meeting nice. projections so that's a great good. thing um Ms. jennifer uh, the as you know the, the master plan committee uh, had the first meeting this week and um, here are some questions to where uh, I know that the budget is tight this year. Is there any wiggle room for the, for any funds for for us to proceed with something on that in, in this uh, fiscal year? Um, let me get on the other side of this audit. Okay. Give me three or four weeks, and then I will have to put together a schedule of <clears throat> current reserves, plus or minus projects that we have committed to already. You know, there are some commitments that we've made since the last time we've done the budget on funds that we're willing to spend. So let me p redo my schedule after I get on the other side of the audit and I can let you know. Hey, do we have any idea of how much we need? Tracy, no, we I mean, meeting, what, June 7th or 8th? Yes. Something like that. So we got a month. If we could just, we really don't know. The lady said maybe half of the 450, so 225, but that ain't what we're looking for. Yeah. We're trying to get seed money to get up. We, we need to get a consultant yeah. to help us basically go through it, re bring re things up, because a lot of stuff <laughs> that was originally done has changed so much since the flood. You know, we've got mm -hmm. an airport we need to throw into the master plan. It wasn't even considered when they wrote this master plan. Okay. So yeah, let me, um, let me put together something like that would come out of uh, the unrestricted general funds. Yeah. So let me um, put together my schedule and see what sort of commitments we have lined out in the future and build a timeline and a cash flow and I'll let you know. That'd be, that'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. that's, that's so all we're you looking at like yeah. 250, 250? That's, that's kind of number she just threw off the hip, but okay. that was just mm -hmm. one consultant. We're trying to get three more in, kind yeah, of see who we who. like, and then we're going to probably get with, uh, I forget what the ladies works for you that uh, puts Jennifer out. in purchasing puts Jennifer, together any get with her on putting together a package for them to bid on okay, okay. so all right that's that's that sounds like the plan right there yeah. all right. anything else guys? I don't think so I think that's think it this is all good we get to check for everything thank you Jennifer. thank you ladies appreciate it um, so is that satisfactory on you about I mean that's all she can do yeah I mean yeah can't commit to something that she doesn't know and she won't commit to something that she doesn't know the numbers are not there so that's i think thing. we'll know a little better once we get the other ones in here yeah and it may of. be two months before they we even have an idea what you know and like she was saying she don't really want to show her hand because she's going to be bidding on this right, right. so and she gave a rough it was a rough estimate she said. Rough. yeah yeah
you know, roughly half. She said the original cost. But. And of course, we'll, we'll at that point, we'll try to look for some grants or something to help maybe cover that. Right. Yeah. Which is what they originally did, I think, yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. so, all right. Uh, all right. Any other business, guys? Nope. Motion to adjourn. Second. All oh, you get it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Come on up to yeah. the podium. Okay, my name is Vanessa Thompson. I'm on North Hall Road, and I just have a quick question. Um, how would uh, we, as the public, get a copy of uh, the budget in like a simplified kind of? form to be able to see where things are being spent and what's being done with the money that y'all have. Uh, I'm sure that'd be a records request, huh? Yes, ma'am. Um, th there's always a copy here at the council office for review, or if you want to call my office and make an appointment, I'd be happy to sit down with you and answer any specific that'd be questions. Great. That'd but be the great. entire budget it, as a whole is probably a little more than you're looking for. Like 55 you pages specifics, for me? Yes, ma'am. I'd be happy to. All right. And thank to be you. clear, there is no simplified version. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, right. The simplified right. version is probably a little much too uh, with Jennifer's. Yeah. I'd like to know uh, from y'all what is uh, the top five priorities of the finance committee? Like, as far as the parish, what are your top five priorities of spending? Well, I know that there are. I guess you define priorities. What do we? What do we have to put up first or, you know? Well, like, if I have a budget at my house, you know, I kind of know what I want to spend on. If it comes down to me eating or buying something, I'm going to, you know, spend on groceries. Yeah. I, so I'd like to know what's the top five priorities. Well, generally, the, the roads, the utilities that we, uh, that the parish has to pay. The detention center. The, the detention has, center. has to be covered. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people think that the, the parish, the jail is, Paid for out of, for the sheriff by the sheriff's department. It's not. That's actually under us. us. We have to pay that. Mm -hmm. um, Drainage. Yeah, equipment. A lot of it's debt. That that that. Uh, yeah, we pay them back yeah. the bonds, back bonds from the roads. Some of it is just timing. The most important goal for me is the correct timing. I have to balance paying our debt that was some of it 20 years before we got here. Um, balance that with collecting all of the taxes that the citizens pay and using those for the goals that they're purposed for, but also keeping a little bit back for those projects that the Fed or the state will match 75 or 90 percent of so that we get the best bang for the buck. Yeah. You know, you have that fine line of balance to keep to spend and put asphalt on the roads or put culverts in the ditches or replace the bridges with any. You don't want to which not is, have any money when they which say, I think hey, that the money you, can you have. guys know that's one of my main concern since I've been coming is the drainage and I don't where I'm at it. there's culverts and ditches that have trees in it this yeah. big yes, that haven't been cleaned for years mm -hmm. and yes, uh, so that's why I want to know what your priorities are if it's drainage it's not getting done well with so. our, the problem with the areas that you're talking about are the unfunded drainage districts like tonight you'll hear we got gravity one here asking to renew their property tax for probably 10 years 15 years and it's very important they do all the work in our districts but without a funded one we just have to rely on what dpw we can cover be, we should be as a parish we are one parish mm -hmm. and drainage and all should be a priority for the whole parish. Yes. Uh, 40 years ago, you had men out there cleaning digits and culverts and all that stuff, talking about dredging rivers and yeah. creeks and all that. And so we're one parish, and the parish as a whole should be, that should be their priority. And you said drainage number four right there. So I think we need to do that. We've got widow women on my road down in a ditch trying to clean their culvert out. Yeah. So I think the financing is there. It just, we need to look at it as a whole. I don't think those other districts should have had to have voted in a tax just for that. Well, because I think <clears throat> that is a parish as a whole. Well, the thing is idea. the road ditches are covered by DPW, but everything else has got to be done by a drainage district. And, and, and 
we have, we put those in place across the parish and tried to fund them. The people said no. Well, the rest of the parish is paying. Twenty percent of the people of the in the parish are paying for dra gravity drainage. We got one, three, and five over on the west side. The south and the east, it's been up once. Should we try and approach it again? It's been twice. Well, over like 80 I said, it's been once over eighty percent of the geographic I, area I think is that's not covered because people, as a whole, people in the communities feel that that should be one of the top priorities in the parish and I don't think we should have to vote in extra taxes for that because I think it should already be into the budget so yeah well I think I think one of the things you need to look at is um, and I think the tax assessor just recently started <coughs> itemizing your taxes I think a lot of people need to look at how much money we actually get mm -hmm. everybody says we pay a lot of taxes but we and the Jennifer, yeah. we don't get a lot of that piece of pie. So we are running on very minimum amount of money to take care of the whole parish. I guess in my mind, my thought is, how did those guys keep it up 40 years ago? Because you didn't have trees growing in the ditches and, you know, and all that. They worked. They dredged rivers, creeks, branches, all those little tributaries. They cleaned ditches. They had all that clean. You had a place on both sides of ditches you could walk and stuff and now it's all grown down in the ditch and got everything clogged up you know well, so not, how did they I'm do it just, back then and we can't do it now i mean the only do? thing i know about back then is we were a police jury system and each police jurorman got his amount of money each year and he had his own crew that he ran and he was in charge of and well, that was the old cliche of you got to know somebody to get your ditch cleaned up well, I mean, where we were at, we wasn't like in the know, but yeah. we had our ditches clean and yeah. things well, the money were draining. That was collected then, though, was, was separated by your police jurors. Mm -hmm. And so the police juror could say, hey, go clean that. In What's my important district. in my district? The drainage yeah, broke it, it down. It, it in is the important that 80% of the geographical, or probably a little more, of the parish is in an unfunded drainage district. The, the, People that have the funded districts, their ditches are relatively clean. Unfortunately, the ones downstream are the ones that are unfunded. And we've they their representatives have went to them and said, you know, help us fund this district and we can clean those uh, those laterals. those laterals. The laterals, which is your canals. The, yeah. Then what what's happening now though is that they're pulling money what there is in the general fund to cover those what they can in those districts. So the people in the funded districts are paying to have their ditches clean and in a backwards way they're paying twice what, twice mm -hmm. to have what is being funded down there mm -hmm. to be clean. And, well, and, and, and there say needs that, to I, we I don't all, we all shop in those districts. Yeah, we so well, we all yeah. pay our taxes in that district. We agree you know? with that. <laughs> but I think we need to maybe take a look back a little bit and take a lesson from, you know, how how did they do it? How did they keep the parish draining and looking good? <laughs> you well, know, because it's not happening now. I think a lot so, of and I don't do think we should have to vote in extra taxes mm -hmm. to do that. I think that should be, like I say, with one parish <laughs> under one umbrella, and all of that should be taken care of. Now, <laughs> I, I, I think the I think the master plan is going to help solve a lot of them yeah, problems. Yeah. I would love there to be one drainage district. We all would love that. One no, drainage not district. Everybody would get. Uh, everybody everybody would love I don't it. like it because I live in drainage district one, and the people pay the taxes over there for that district, and we have a decent hey, you drainage. Reason? Yes, <laughs> we have a district over there that has decent drainage in it. So, well, well what until, I'm saying until, is until I it backs up that. into the unfunded part, and then yeah. you don't. Right. And she is right. We are one parish. Right, and, and what I'm uh, saying is each individual section should not have to vote in a tax for specifically for well, that because we are one parish. Yes. You ready to go? Uh, oh, you want to answer? I, please come and sit down with me. Yeah, and you'll see why there's the no funding for that. The thing is how the taxes okay. are restricted for the the majority, 94% of our income is restricted for use, and you cannot do anything.
movements that we get away from it. There is no money other than the very small amounts of unrestricted funds we get. We have to. And a lot of that stuff is the state constitution, Title 49, that a lot of companies you find is you, know, you have the ability to put a tax and only this kind of tax on the ballot for this purpose. Um, you know, like for example, you can't do a parcel fee for um, water, a water district or a grant district, but the state constitution allows you to do a parcel fee for fire districts. So a lot of what they, a lot of the taxes that all of the governments have are, are in a large way dictated by what the Constitution will allow a particular type of district, fire district, fire district, school district, whatever, to levy or not levy. And the purposes that you can levy it for are still out of the Constitution. Please come and sit down. Yeah. Come and sit down. You will be, you will feel better about how much we actually do with a little bit of <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank All right, you, um, and I just want to leave you with a thought. Micah okay. 6, 8, he has shown you, O oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justly and to walk, love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Amen. And Appreciate I think that. if you do those things, we'll be doing okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, I make a motion. All right. Anything else? No. Done. Yeah, thank you. I have a motion. Second. Yeah, we did it. Yeah. yeah. Oh. All right. I'll be right back.